Hi, I am Robert Tisoliano. I am a security awareness expert and the head trainer at protectnowllc.com. Welcome to this week's Protect Now Security Snapshot. Each week, we break down recent events in the world of scams, fraud, and identity theft. I will provide you with real life examples of how certain information vulnerabilities can be exploited by online predators, by the bad guys, and share the best up-to-date tips and practices on how to protect your business, your loved ones from hacks, fraud, and identity theft. Let's get at it. And welcome to this week's Protect Now Security Snapshot. So avoiding COVID-19 vaccine scams, okay? So with, um, you know, we just ordered what, uh, 600 or 200, we just ordered 200 million more vials. They're saying 600 million by the summertime. They're boosting up vaccinations to 1.7 million uh, a day. And they could be at 3 million within the next few weeks. Uh, or even a few months, not really sure. That's all fluid. That being said, we're doing pretty good. Bad guys are doing great because they're capitalizing all the con- on all the confusion and all the fear. So as a result, I got a call from the Dr. Oz show. And uh, that video, uh, I'm going to show you how to get access to that. So we're going to talk about a blog that I wrote about uh, avoiding the COVID-19 scams. Real quick, uh, showing you the Protect Now Identity Theft Protection, how to freeze your kids' credit, uh, investing in cybersecurity insurance for your small business, uh, showing you how to get access to the Dr. Oz video, get a PDF of all these links, and uh, sign up for my next webinar, date to be determined, and get a free copy of my ebook, and ultimately like our Facebook page, because you've got to like our Facebook page. Okay, so let's get at it. Okay, so avoiding... COVID-19 scams. It's really simple, actually. You just have to be paying attention and not be so freaked out desperate. But I know a lot of people are desperate. I mean, that's a reality of it. It is a life or death situation here. So yeah, I get it. And bad guys do too. So I was on the Dr. Oz show talking about that. A number of different things that we talked about were like avoiding scams with co-pays. You should not have to pay for a vaccination, at least here in the U.S., okay? Uh, scams offering alternative cures, they simply don't exist. You know, there are no alternative cures. It is a vaccination, and that is it. You do not buy vaccinations online because from an email or a website that you visited to. Again, they are free offered by the U.S. federal government. Basically, uh, there are scams that will place you on a vaccine list so that you can get first in line. That is not real either. Uh, Getting emails, phone calls, websites, anything regarding buying a vaccine, getting on a list, none of that exists. All you've got to do is do a quick search in the state in which you reside in. So, for example, Massachusetts, I search Massachusetts COVID vaccination. And the state of Massachusetts has done a really good job of getting to the top of search, providing real information on when and where I can actually get my vaccine. And because of my age, I can't, not yet. That being said, uh, those that are 75 and older are part of phase one, at least here in Massachusetts and pretty much throughout the country. And all of that information will be when you search New York vaccination sites. It's going to show up. It's going to pop up on the first page of search. Be careful. Make sure the website you go to is .gov. Generally, that's better than .anything else if you are searching for vaccination because you know you're going to get the real site if you search .gov. And, you know, be cautious and cognizant and be patient and do your research and local newspapers and newscasts are providing all the basic information as well. But basically, do not respond to information from a phone call or an email uh, with that you did not solicit and call your PCP. Your doctor will have the basic information anyways. Watch the video. You're going to really love it. All right. So check out Protect Now's Identity Theft Protection Service. You should protect your identity. Also f- check out our cyber liability policy for small businesses. You got to watch your back if you're a small business. Bad guys are out to get you. Parents with kids 17 and under, freeze your kids' credit. We do it for 35 bucks and freeze all three kids, all three credit bureaus for your kid. Check out my Dr. Oz video. I'm kind of proud of this one. It was really a good one. Like, I love the doc. And then for those of you who are re- Massachusetts real estate agents, uh, on March 3rd and 4th, we have a CE class. You got to check that out. And then For those of you who want to get a copy of this as a PDF file with all these links, 
Uh, you can go to protectnow.online, get a copy of my free ebook and sign up for my next webinar date to be determined. And you got to like our Facebook page, go to protectnow.com forward slash uh, protect. I'm sorry, go to facebook.com forward slash protect now LLC and uh, like our Facebook page. All right. So, hey, be careful out there. Be safe. Be smart. Wear your masks and peace. <laughs>